to prepare pan-seared ahi tuna with sesame seed crust. It's absolutely one of my favorite dishes. It's very simple to make and can be served as appetizer or entree. So let's go over our ingredient list. Here we have about one pound ahi tuna steak and sesame seeds for coating, vegetable oil for pan searing, pickled ginger, wasabi paste, and soy sauce for serving. And here we have marinating ingredients. We have two slices of ginger, sesame oil, orange oil or orange zest, wasabi paste, honey, and soy sauce. First thing, we want to combine all marinating ingredients and mix well. Let's add everything into the soy sauce. Here we have honey, wasabi paste, orange oil, sesame oil. Mix well. And ginger slices. Now for the tuna steaks, we want to make sure it's fresh, make sure it's shining and firm, and doesn't smell fishy. So for marinating, you can use a container, but I like to use a plastic bag. Now add all marinating ingredients into the bag. Then place our fish into the bag. Press all excess air and close the plastic bag. And slightly wrap it around just to make sure everything is evenly coated. Place them on a plate and place them in the fridge for at least 2 hours but no more than 12 hours. Welcome back! So after two hours marinating and we want to take the tuna steak out of the fridge 30 minutes before cooking so the steak can come back to room temperature. Now we want to take them out of the plastic bag and make sure you pat them dry with paper towel. Now we want to coat the tuna steak with white sesame seeds on both sides. Now we want to heat up our cooking oil in a saute pan or stainless steel frying pan. So when the pan is hot, we want to place the tuna steak into the frying pan gently. And we want to sear each side about 3 minutes or until the sesame seeds are toasty. Now we want to flip them over here on the other side. For maybe about another two or three minutes. So after another three to four minutes, the tuna is ready. Let's place them on a carving board and let them rise for at least 5 minutes before we can serve them. So after 5 minutes resting, we can start slicing the tuna steak. Make sure you cut them against the grain. Now let's serve them up in a plate. You can serve them with a little bit more wasabi paste if you like. Uh, some pickled ginger slices. And more soy sauce if you like. on the inside and the sesame seeds are toasty and slightly crunchy on the outside. It's absolutely perfect, especially for a summer dish. So if you like this recipe, 
please visit us at www.fireandfishcookbook.com. There you can find more sample recipes and information about our cookbook called the Bear and Fish Family Cookbook. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.